unto the King of Kings. Let us rise up and lift up our hands as we worship the Lord this morning. For his grace upon our mother that is celebrating today. It is not by grace, it is not by power, it is not by might. It is purely by the grace of the Almighty God. Only those who know how to think who know how to worship the Lord this morning. Let me see your hands up because you are about to worship the King of Kings. You are about to worship the Lord of Lord. The I am that I am. The ancients of days. I like what I told you. I like what I love. Over TJ Mini. So be on. Over Mini Ayesha. Kotiti said. My God, my King. My Jehovah Nishi. My Jehovah Rapha. Lift up the hands. Pray it up to Him. Appreciate Him. Because He's my Savior forever and forever. Some people didn't even make one year old. Some people didn't even make 10 years old. Some less of 20. Some less of 30.
I want to thank God who has given us the privilege to stand before him this morning. And I want to celebrate God in the life of our Father and the Lord for giving me the opportunity to stand before you. I pray that the Lord will continue to increase him in divine health in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to say a big shout out to everyone in the sanctuary, uh, the minister, the pastors, all the ministers, the men, the women, the youth, the choir, everyone, leaders, bless God. And we all pray that we shall finish strong in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, we are celebrating God and the life of our mommy, uh, mommy Ogundano. I don't, I'm still, I think I will still continue to ask God. Uh, in this sanctuary, People, I don't know what, well, no, it is the glory of God. Amen. Amen. People get, keep getting younger. Amen. Amen. Someday I almost did not even recognize Mommy Adebayo again when I saw her. I think we went for an occasion. Ah, mommy was looking like uh, my sister and my daughter, busy. I, I didn't know she was the one. And so also, everyone before God. And today, look at mommy. She's looking so radiant. Please give a clap offering to my Lord. Hallelujah. You will celebrate God in your life. The Bible says, as for me, I'm a husband. Eh? We shall do what? Hallelujah. You brought your family to the presence of God. That shows that there is a great understanding of the word of God in you. And that's why you keep getting younger. By the time you are 70, maybe you will be looking at you as a 30-year-old lady. But at that time, we will ban all bachelors. Not to say hi to mommy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if, if you are getting to a point and... Uh, uh, the young folks are just ah, that mommy is sweet. Ah, that mommy looks so beautiful. Ah, it means that's the glory of God. Hallelujah. We pray that the Lord shall be with you all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord shall give you that divine strength. Amen. Because that's all you need at a certain age in life. Yes. I remember when I first. Uh, got into this church. Ah, how many of you remember that I used to dance and and cut that my back now? If I, I would not. Uh, my dance can only be like this now. Amen. And so also at a point, we were very young. We were young. We could run 100 meters within a few seconds. But it gets to a point we are not able to do that again. And you know what? God replaces that energy with divine energy. And that's what we are sending you today. To go be the glory. Amen. I pray that the glory of God will radiate around you Amen. throughout your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word of God to us this morning is a thankful art. A thankful art. There's yet to be an understanding of what a thankful art should be. We're going to get there. God cannot be mocked. Our perception of a thankful art usually stems from the fact that the Lord has blessed us. It stems from the fact that we are healed. The word of God is there. Yeah. 
It stems from the fact that we have experienced breakthroughs. But this morning, that's not what that is all about. Even when you are unhappy, have a thankful heart. Because God is trying to bring out something. He's trying to test your faith. If I asked mommy now to just give me a synopsis of what she's been through in life, trust me, we will not live here today. And so also is everyone here. You have passed through some difficulties. You perhaps may still be passing through those difficulties. That the word of God this morning is telling you and I, have a thankful heart. That's one of the reasons why God loved David so much. Because he was thankful. You may pass through any situation. The Bible says in Jeremiah, it says, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. God knew that you were going to be in the land of the living, celebrating your 60th. This is not a design by any human being. It has been orchestrated by God. And that's why you are still in the land of the living. We are not better than those who have gone. Though some of them could have even prayed more than we do now. But they are no more. But you know what? We are not mocking them. But we are using them as a reference point to give thanksgiving and praises unto the Almighty. You have come this morning to recognize God as a pillar of your life. I pray that you hold on very tightly to that God in the name of Jesus. Amen. A grateful act. Whether you are going through sufferings, I love the word of God. Anytime I find myself in any situation, I remember what the word. I tell my family, I say, what does the word of God say? The Bible says in this world, we will have challenges. Don't let anyone deceive you. That makes you to be a very strong Christian. When you are not moving, the paradigm is not shifting. You remain very firm in, in Christ, regardless of whatever you are going through. And you know what? At the end of the day, people will gather to celebrate you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Of that by that portion of the says, come and see. When you call people to come and see, it means that at a point in time, it was beyond human understanding. It was beyond what a human being can handle. For God to have spared your life up until now to be able to celebrate 60th in the land of the living. Hallelujah. It means that our God is a faithful God. Yeah. Don't let whatever you are going through you back from praising God. Always have a thankful heart. Always have a grateful heart. No matter the situation in which you may find yourself. I want it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There was a skit that I watched on YouTube. I love YouTube so much. Now the guy was just walking was a man who was uh, on a bike, uh, you know, uh, not a power bike, but a bicycle. And the man came 
and said, no, it was actually like a Rolls Royce. He came and looked at it and said, oh, and placed his hand on his chest, like, God, bless me. Then, another, they showed another thing. They saw another person. The car was not as, you know, great as the Rolls Royce. And I was, oh, wow. Placed his hands on it. I said, Lord, bless me. The owner of that one went to another place. I saw so him. He said, bless me. So I now began to think. But human words, according to economics, is it satiable? You will continue to ask. My mom would always say that you will keep asking until Jesus comes. <laughs> By human nature. That's the way we have been wired. Trust me. We have not committed any sin. We are just encouraging ourselves to have that thankful heart, a grateful heart. You want to ask me, Pastor, where are the evidences of a thankful heart? They are here in the scriptures. There are three evidences that I'm going to share with you this morning. A man who was deceased, deceased, not diseased, not you know someone that was inflicted uh, with disease, you know, series of diseases in him. Before I get there, I will ten of them lepers. Let me get to that one. There were ten of them. When Jesus was in Jerusalem, he went into a village. And ten of them came to him. And he simply told them, and you know how God works in a very miraculous way that is beyond any human understanding. That's why he's God. Amen. Amen. If he walked the way of our own understanding, he would never be God. Because we will be able to kind of predict him. That's why our God is unpredictable. You might decide that you were going to the north side. And God all of a sudden brought circumstances that would turn that around. That you are not going anywhere. You know why? Because it's shielding you. The Bible says it will hide me in the shadow of his wings. But because we did not have that understanding, our mind will be over there. We really wanted to get there at all cost. But our God is a faithful God. Ten! They came to Jesus. And Jesus simply told them, go and show yourselves to the priest. And they did. And they were healed of their leprosy. But you know what? Only one person returned to Jesus Christ. And Jesus asked, there were ten of you who were healed. We had the remaining nine. Only one. And that one this morning, to God be the glory. Mrs. Ogundano, you're that one who returned to Christ. Let someone make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Who is in darkness? Hmm. 
Satan will not take possession of our eyes in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whether we like it or not, God will walk through our situation in the name of Jesus. Amen. But all I want to plead with you is just hold on to that faith. Believe in him that he's able to do it. I was talking to my mommy the other time. I said, mommy, what if I came you know, persistently asking you to, uh, to thank you for what I had not even received. Her response was that she would, uh, let me, if I, you were not, you were late, you, well, I won't say you were late, you were prepared for the service. Mommy, if I came to you and I kept asking you, huh? mommy, thank you for the, for blessing me. You span. And I walked away. And I returned to you the next day. I said, Ah, mommy, thank you for blessing me. Hallelujah. You to his name. I walked away. I'm sure at that point I had planted something in your heart. And then you'll be wondering. You're in a state of taking a decision. Then I said, ah, Mommy. Good night, or thank you for blessing me. And I left. By the time you see me the third day, what would you do, mommy? I bless you. I bless you. Please put your hands together to the Lord. Hallelujah. So also, this blind man, when he heard that Jesus was around, he kept screaming, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. People were telling him to be quiet. The devil will not silence you in the name of Jesus. In whatever situation you find yourself, the devil is very cunning. You know what it does? It, it, it kind of projects, projects negativity at that point. That will not make you acknowledge God. That's why the Bible is ye and amen. In First Thessalonians it says, in all things, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So I bless God for your life this morning because you deemed it fit to come before God before any other celebration to give Him the glory. And I pray that you will celebrate 70 in the name of Jesus. You will celebrate 80 in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will celebrate 90 in the name of Jesus. Amen. As if the Lord tarries, so shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our God is a faithful God. Yes. Just believe in Him and walk in His ways. Do not lean Him. Cling unto Him. Even those things that you could not achieve maybe in the last 60 years. But because you have celebrated God, those shall be open unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. When they see you, you, I don't know the plan of God, but the Bible tells me that the plan that he has towards you is of good. So good things can begin to happen now because you have given me all the glory. So shall it be. Can somebody give a clap offering unto the king of kings? And the third one, because of our time, a demonic man, all these people, went with Jesus because they were thankful. A man that was that that that, that the demons used his body as a place of abode. You know what? <laughs> Ah, uh, demons speak, oh. Mm -hmm. Ah, demons, they speak. They were telling Jesus, please, do not torment us. It's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do not, what? Do not torment us. They knew who Jesus was and who he is. The one that was, the one that is, Hallelujah. and the one that is to come. Hallelujah. Have a thankful heart. Demons.
demons possessed the whole body and they refused to leave. And, and, they, and you know what? Read your Bible very well. They, they, they gave themselves the decisions to leave. Is in the scriptures. They begged Jesus. <laughs> and the headsmen who were who were just going about their own businesses. They entered into that swine and left the man. And they came back to Jesus and glorified his name. And they wanted to go with Jesus. You know what the Bible says? The Bible says, Jesus told him, go and show yourself to people to see the glory of, the, of God. So this morning, you have not come to show yourself because you've been coming into the sanctuary to worship God. But this morning, it is different. Right? It is gold and white. It is different this morning. Hallelujah. Everything, mom's uh, uh, glasses is different. <laughs> her shoes are shining. <laughs> Everything about her is radiating. Hallelujah. Please shout hallelujah. 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 Just hold on tightly unto him. He's a faithful God. Yeah. This is just the tip of an iceberg. He has just begun in your life. Yes. You will see those things that will begin to manifest around you. Amen. That's why when you see somebody who celebrates all the time, the Bible says, it says only the shout of joy shall be heard from the abode of the righteous. For me to have come all the way from Milwaukee. Detroit. Uh, Detroit? Detroit. 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 Yeah. Michigan. Ah. Give a shout offering unto the Lord, won't you? Uh, all the way from Detroit. Ah, uh, that's about five. I know that we have been there with my daddy. We went there, uh, uh, mommy, we shop back. Abby? Uh -huh, that's why, yeah, okay. You don't have mommy? Oh, uh, you don't. Okay, all right. We were there. It, it was, I think, if I get, we went together. God bless you, sir. We drove and drove. We were almost about four hours or five hours. Uh -huh. And mommy came. You know what? She has come, according to the word of God, to see what the Lord has done in your life, to celebrate with you. And I pray, mommy, the Lord will uphold you in the name of Jesus. If I ask me to guess mommy's age now. Huh? Anybody? I don't know how you do it this year. Everybody keep getting younger. Amen. Even the men. You will never, the carriage of life will soon, well, we will get there. Everybody, ah, ah, every, look at them. Uh, daddy, you know, you never, he keeps getting younger and younger. Anytime I see him, I say, ah, ah, is this, Dicky will wear some fit and shirt. To, please put your hands together to the Lord. Hallelujah. In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. So therefore, if you're here this morning, you're struggling with having a grateful heart. I beseech you. I appeal to you. I urge you. The Lord is a faithful God. Hallelujah. Even when you celebrate Him during your trials, during the phase that you are going through, He's waiting on you at the end of the tunnel because there is joy. Only the shout of joy shall be heard from that God of righteous. I declare unto everyone under the, under the sound of my voice this morning the grace to take a new turn in Christ, to be thankful unto Him over little things. I pray that the Lord will bestow upon you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Perhaps you have some things that you are still struggling with. Sometimes it makes us not to have focus. 
it drags us away from the presence of God. Because what the devil uses is to make sure that there's a projection of negativity before you and it will not let you see that our God is an all-sufficient God. This morning, I read book. And I say, heaven shall be open unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those things that are dragging you away from the presence of the Most High. That you will not let his glory manifest at the end of the day. I rebuke for your sake in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will not have a dominion over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As you go from now, henceforth the glory of the Lord shall avail for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Open your eyes. As I'm rounding up, do you know we are all billionaires here? Huh? Yes. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Do you know we are billionaires and billionaires here? Yes. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> the Bible says, Jonathan, David and Jonathan, David told Jonathan that your dad knows that I found favor in your sight. And he says, as the Lord lives, there is just a step. Mommy, just a step between life and death. How many steps have you taken? 60 years. Multiply 60 years. When you get home, you can do your calculation and know that there are statisticians in the house, there are mathematicians, and they have to do the math. How many seconds make one minute? How many minutes make one hour? Sixty. Multiply that by three by twenty-four hours and then by three hundred and sixty-five and by sixty. It will give you one point eight billion. The Lord never need you take the one unto death, but unto life. Give God a clap offer. Please rise up on your feet. This morning you are going to open your heart unto heaven. And Lord, forgive me. If I had not been thankful enough, oh Lord, forgive me in the name of Jesus. And as you pray, Lord, I'm ready to take a step of change, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. To continue to be grateful and be thankful. In the name of... The only reason... Hello? The only reason why people are not receiving is because they are not thankful. All they want, they, they want to receive and receive and receive and receive. The Bible confirms that there is blessing in giving than in receiving. Hallelujah. So, Lord, this morning, forgive me. It was because I didn't have that divine knowledge that I should be more thankful to you than ask him. And Lord, the grace to be thankful in any situation, whether it is sweet or sour or it is sorrowful, Lord, the grace to thank you. Lord, bestow it upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and pray. For in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, Lord, we thank you. In everything, the Bible says we should give thanks to you. We are thanking you for this moment. Our mother is thanking you. Thank you Father, Lord. accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We have been told this morning 
and I pray the Spirit to continually thank God in all our situations. The Lord will bestow upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because when we thank God, that moves the power of God in our life. I pray the Spirit to thank God. Wherever the situation we find ourselves, the Lord will bestow upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today, as we have had this word, I pray this world will have a change of hand in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The heart of thanksgiving for each and every one, of, every one of us, the Lord will give it to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We commend the man of God that you have used this morning to you, Father. I pray the anointing of God upon your life will not run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will continue to uphold you. The Lord will continue to strengthen you. Everything concerning you, the Lord will bring you to perfection in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. In Christ Jesus' name, I pray. We will have the birthday Thanksgiving. So please, can you hand over one, just one microphone to Mommy and to give her testimony? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jehovah. family members, I want to say thank you, Lord. He has kept me up to today. In fact, I, I, I did not deserve to leave, but he kept me. I want to say thank you. When I was coming to America, you know, I'm full of testimonies, but I will just say short one. Like, uh, as I was coming, I left home 2019. So, I got to, to do it. We had a stop over there. So they said, all of us should go and rest. So I was sitting there on a chair and I dozed off. So as I was there, you see, I had a kind of dream just came to me. In that dream, they were oppressing me there. I was shouting the name of Jesus. Jesus. You know, I just, I just got up and I fell down. I got up again. I said, you are a liar. I knew something wanted to happen, but I didn't know what happened. I don't, I don't know what, what is going to happen, but I knew something bad wanted to happen. My spirit man told me, that something is going to happen. But I cannot identify what is what was going to happen. So I was just praying. I said, God, <laughs> hey. <laughs> they just, you know, they as I was coming, they were coming with me. I said, I was just praying. I said, God, I know your will and your will they don't be done in my life. So I, I, I was just praying. So they when we wanted to board in in the morning, so we went in. You know, I was already boarded. They passed me in, they checked me, and I was, you know, I was sitting with the crowd. They just called me out. They said, uh, they just called my name. I, I just came out. I said, yeah. The guy said, when do you intend to go back to Nigeria as you are going now? I said, I am a civil servant, and I have work that I'm doing. You don't expect me to go and sleep in America. Even though I knew I was <laughs> coming to, to, to stay. So, he now said, uh, no, you don't look like somebody that, that will go back. Uh, I said, what, what, what nonsense are you telling me? He said, madam, I have, every, I have power to cancel your visa. And I said, okay, give me my... You are not going, you are not going with, you are not going with this flight. I said, I'm not going. She said, he said yes. Then I just went back, said I should sit down there. Then he handed me. So I was now thinking, I said, what happened? You know, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do again. I was just praying. I knew devil is at work. So I sat down. They kept me for two days in Doha. 
Then I went, they put me next available flight and I went back to Nigeria. But when I got to Nigeria, I said, I will not go home. I just called my children, I said, I'm, I'm in mountain of fire, I'm not coming home. And I spent two weeks there. My daughter called me from UK, said, Mommy, you are going back. Sent, bought another ticket and sent it to me. And I, you know, after I left Mountain of Fire, I have full confidence yes. that I am going in, into that state. So, and uh, I praise God. And I, you know, when I left the place, I just went in. The following day, I went back to the airport. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With another, you know, Flight. air friend. Air France, yes, I came in with Air France. So when I got to the to the immigration, they asked questions. I answered them. They didn't even ask me that. Ah, but you have been sent back. <laughs> no. So wow. then, that was how I came. <laughs> My God is. I don't know why he loves me. He loves me so much. And I love him. I love him. I love God. And I knew God loves me so much. He loves me. He loves me. He loves me. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your faithfulness.
I'm here to bless God for your life, mommy. Uh, and it's time uh, for your birthday, Thanksgiving. Uh,
to go down on your knees as the people of God will remain standing. The man of God will declare the prophecy of the Most High upon you. Hallelujah. You are good, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good. You are good, Lord. When our father was preaching the other time, I mean today, out of ten lepers, one came back and appreciate God and give so himself unto Christ. Here I have. And God perfect his own healing. Although our Lord Jesus Christ asked a question, we are at the other you are ten, we are at the other nine. The man replied, I am the Holy One. And God said, go back, you are healed. That means it was then that God perfect his own healing. Today, what is imperfect in your life? I don't know, but Christ knows. All those things today, God amend it. Amen. Go continue with your new ideas. Lonely, you buy Papa the Olorun Bade. Because you do this today, God will continue to glorify Himself in your life, mighty, more and more. And you will continue having the testimony of God more and more in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Our God is good. He's a good God. Even in that wonderful, beautiful gate. As that man always stand by the gates begging. Oton shebe, so God's orokan jade leno awa iranshi olorun peteru. As he was begging, Peter said to him, "Gura ti fada ka emi koni." Gold and silver we do not have. But in the mighty name of Jesus, the day kiosima. Rise and walk. Arabeni, ni tori pe shelei. Mommy, because you have done this today. Yoruba bo mane yene ni ni kani se mira lo lo. Yoruba they say when you pray someone, you do you get more. Bibeli mina di mo sinka si fiye mi ripe o kai more la mo sara. And the Bible said that the heart of thanksgiving shall be. Oh, the last to the law. Mommy from the law. Mommy from the law. Mommy from the law. Ni noi rom. Where people are walking in com with comfort. Ni noi. In the glory of the Lord Almighty, Mommy, you will continue to walk in His glory. From, the, from now on, Mommy, 
Walk in the glory of God. From today on, glory to glory. Amen. Success to success. Amen. Promotion to promotion. Amen. Because you do this, from today on, glory to glory. Amen. Success to success. Amen. Everything that surrounds you, I pray the umbrella of, pro of protection of God will not be removed over them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mommy, we study something. Everything that surrounds your life. Money. The protection of the Lord will not depart from your life. Other me to I am not here stopping. Because there are many people here waiting to witness today in your life. Oh Lord, why your Baba Lola? God of Ayobabalola. Be one shame. Do not you want by him your loaning? As everyone is saying, I will not be the joy of the Lord will not cease in everyone's life. In your life, the joy of the Lord will not cease. Be one shame. 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 Be one Nitori gba gori oke yi wa lati jo fi yin fun Olorun alaaye mo kan ti eri awon meran ni gba tan jo mo owoju eni keni bi da fi di sese ni igba ni ti ko pera re lo ba o re ra le si le patapata o si fi gogo ogo ye sile o wa yin ra baba ni waju Olorun de bi wi pe ari wi pe Iya wore wa mo yi pe ru eyan wo le leyi mo ra wo eniyan to to se ba la ni yi to ko ni olorun be pe lo all those who are dancing before the lord today gbogbo wa patapata everyone is we will continue to grow in the glory of the lord Blessed be the name of the Lord. O Blessed be the name of the Lord. O be the name of the Lord. O be the name of the Lord. We continue to grow in the grace of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes. Your thanksgiving is now being acceptable unto the Lord in the name of the Father. Amen. In the name of the Son. Amen. And in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Congrats, mommy. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, people of God, uh, for your endurance and your patience. We really appreciate uh, you and uh, appreciate God in you. If you're the dirty, you don't mind them. If I don't bear, I come, may you buy them. My time don't come, yeah.